Ladies and gentlemen, these are all very welcome back to the fourth episode of the User Hectic Podcast. On this week's episode, we actually get into a few dodgy ass topics as usual. We get to talking about culties, sex toys, and accidentally having diarrhea in nightclubs. So these are very welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Play the fucking intro, bro. Last thing it was just said there was fine. <laughs> uh, did you just watch Love Island this fucking year? Watched it up until about two weeks before. It. Did you? Did you finish I, the last episode? No? no, I literally watched like I think five episodes in total it's over the whole thing. Start that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're cultured fucking... men. Like, what are you on about? Like, <laughs> anyway, see you... fucking Riley Reid had a child. <laughs> Riley Reid. Yeah. No way. Yeah. How fucked is that? Kid? I'm gonna like, be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> you nah, probably are say. already that. like if anyone yeah, hears a dad as you yeah Liam has like probably like 15 illegitimate kids just bandering about like it's just four wee like fucking like ginger guys just running about screaming up the row like. and three of them are called Liam as well <laughs> Liam Liam's Jr that, Liam's it's, that, it's, Liam's it's, a called Liam as well. it's a Catholic thing your first son has to be named after you you're not the first son though <laughs> I know, but he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't come back from getting milk, like. <laughs> you never tried to get milk, came back with a bag of eggs, like. Liam's dad is that kind of dad that I can imagine him being, like, he was going to run away, and then he was like, ah, fuck, I left, I the fucking, I left something in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> he just, like, came back for it. Left my meal deal, fuck's sake. <laughs> He's like, fuck, there's half a fryer talks in the fridge. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't, leave, I wouldn't leave him on the way, like, I'd like, nah, that's a bit harsh, like. <laughs> you know, but yeah, no, Riley Reid had a child recently. <laughs> Because she remember she dipped off like Instagram and all there for a while, and everyone thought it was because she was banned or something. Maybe she was, I don't know. But uh, yeah, apparently she had a child while she was banned. She kept out a secret. I know. Been watching her videos. <laughs> or she's still uploading to OnlyFans. What the fuck? Uh, it was definitely Instagram that just noticed she disappeared off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we're on paying a favour a month for this. <laughs> but you yeah, know, uh, I see nothing as like that child has no fucking chance in life. Like. What is what's even happening with that? Like, how how is he going to go to school? How is he? You know, in America, in them schools, they do the like, oh, we'll do uh, like what's it like the work day? What are your parents? Bring your bring your bring your mother to work day or bring your father to work day? Like the fucking or fucking ma walks in and everyone's jaw just hits the fucking floor. Like what the hell? It's all the dads. Her <laughs> classmate's dad walks in. It's Johnny Sins. Like <laughs> all the dads walk. In, like all it's the like dads walk naughty. In. There's fucking. I don't know who that is to be honest. Uh, <laughs> it's like one of them naughty classroom scenes that you see, like. <laughs> Teacher made me stay behind for late lessons. <laughs> what great, the fuck? <laughs> great, great lessons. Like, oh man, I remember in school I thought that was gonna happen to me. My yeah, mom's teacher. I, I think every guy thought that was gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, my mom's teacher was banging looking. Me and my mate used to perv on her so much. Like, uh, what was his name? <laughs> <My story. laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> don't remember my mate's name. But uh, no, um, me and my mate used to perv on our mom's teacher so much, and uh, she was always like. Like she, like you would think, you know, one of the teachers you'd think they were doing it on purpose, where they were just bent over and stuff, and you were like, "I'm a 14, 15 year old boy at the time, so obviously, like, you know, ankles were getting me fucking riled up, like, well, really the roof, wait, they like. weren't doing it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I know, but then uh, I remember one day she was all to me, right? Because they never give me detention because I was always like bonking and all anyway, so they were like, "There's no point giving this con detention." He's just gonna skip that. And then one day she was all, "I want you to stay behind after school today. I want to talk to you about something." And I looked around at the mates as all. <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> I was like, I remember sitting the whole day, and I was like, I'm buzzing for detention today. Right, Justin, do your division. <laughs> and like, she sat me down, and she like came over and sat beside me, and was like, you know, what? like I was like, up until that point, I was like, she's gonna fucking, is she gonna write? Am I gonna be one of these new stories right now? Like, as the cops are like, nice. <laughs> but uh, I was like, bro, this is gonna be fucking sick. She sits down beside me, and she's like, Justin. What do your parents think of your behaviour? <laughs> I was like, Rah. Soft noodle. Like. <laughs> I was like, this is depressing. And then there was also a teacher in our school who happened to be a physical education teacher. He was a good looking man. No, uh, our, uh, she was a... Uh, Sorry, my... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she, um, I remember she bent down one day and we seen the lower bit, this is the pervious podcast date, uh, but she bent over and I seen like a wee pinstripe tattoo in the back, like her lower back. And someone shouted out, Miss, do you have a tattoo? Mm. She stood up and fucking mm. screamed the head out of the class. Like, it was oh. the funniest shit ever. She was like, like, what the fuck's the matter using on? I was like, that was beautiful. Like, that was, that was exactly what, what I What is it with, so. like, like imagine a teenage boy gets rid by a girl teacher, but oh, then the opposite way is yeah. just grim. Yeah, I know. You hear about, like, a fucking, like, 
<laughs> to be fair, how many people in school, in our school anyway, do you think were writing to teachers? <laughs> like, like we girls? I heard, no, I heard somebody actually write a teacher in Lismore. Nice. <laughs> but, uh, like, lucky. <laughs> Oh, you shit. You know the teacher? Fuck. I yeah. remember. No, I know. She going over too. That, that story yeah, of you yeah, being yeah. A, asked to stay behind, is, is that like the Kagavan version of Wet Dreams by J. Cole? Yeah. It was nothing we'll like that we'll first cut, we'll cut out time. the part where I say yeah. the school, but um, geography. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> there, was, there was a geography teacher. Geography teacher. <laughs> Fat hole. And who fucked I it? know what? Who we're, fucked we're not going to say the name. We're not going to say them their names, but somebody apparently did because he was. Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like upper sixth, so he was like, you know, he was probably like seventeen, oh. eighteen. Mom must have fucking for her. Because like, it was like their like leaving thing. They had like a big leaving thing, and she went out. She was out or something. Horny bitch. She yeah. knew what she was at, like. Yeah. Like, that's what I mean, but imagine There's only that three story. bars next to fucking um, like, our school. Imagine Dude, that story like... was, like, you know, the, the, like, the geography teacher was across the hall from her, the old guy. Oh. Imagine it was, like, him, like, with, with a girl. A, yeah, You'd be like, bro, fucking throw him in jail and There'll still be stories the on the news about it, like. It'd be fucking vile, man. I wouldn't even know what to, like, think of, like, school. Like, I remember that spe- same specific teacher I'm talking about, not the one I got read, uh, the one who was my geography teacher, there was a girl in my class who was a wee bit of a wee bit of a skitter, <laughs> like she was a wee bit of a bootleg, and uh, <laughs> she, she, she a wee boot though? I mean, f- uh, she's just, she's just, just, she's just a boot, just she's a boot. Just a boot. <laughs> but um, she was in, like, she like showed up late or something, and he turned around to her and he was all, well just say her name was Sinead, I'm making her name up, you know her. We we have seen her on like a night out. Remember we were walking from the lakes past the subs, and she was just taking a piss in front of everyone. Oh, don't say her name. But uh, like he, she walks, <laughs> yeah, Sinead walks into class, and he goes, "Young Sinead, were you out working the street corners tonight?" And I was like, "I was gangster shit." But, uh, I was like, only he, only like an old like fucking geography teacher could get away with calling someone a fucking hooker like did he get so, away with it did he get away with it yeah he fucking he's, he's like a PE teacher now <laughs> for a play like. <laughs> for, the, for the girls was anyone else's like geography teacher like geography teacher PE teacher yes that's what he was he was, a, he, was. <laughs> he was a madman for that like I remember him just he used to come into class in a fucking tracksuit every day and he'd be all anyway ignitious rock <laughs> <laughs> whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> Is what? that not the name of it? <laughs> why Why was it always geography teachers? Though? you never seen a French teacher teach PA. It was always geography. Like, is it just because geography's yeet? Or... Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, they just... They pick geography and then they're like, hmm. It is Ignigny... Ignigny... Whoa. Why the fuck do you say that word? <laughs> You're not getting the pass. Like, stop. Igneous rock. Holy shit. No, what not the fuck? Ignigneous, whatever <laughs> you said. Like. <laughs> Mate... That's twice in a row I've had the fucking... That's right in the quagmire, just throwing in a giggity halfway through the word, like. <laughs> I nearly said it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anyway, moving on from that. Uh, <laughs> what else have we got here? Did you see, actually, Shakira's getting, like, jailed for, like, eight years over tax fraud? Over oh, tax fraud, oh, actually, yeah. yeah. How crazy is that? Her I hips did, did like... lie. <laughs> <laughs> she also lied on her tax form. It's like... Learn how to learn. Tax forms are written. <laughs> Wait, I had it up there two seconds. Igneous rock. <laughs> uh, hold on, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, you're gonna cut this part out, aren't you? Probably. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll have fucking. I'll probably get done for tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you've admitted it multiple Mate. times on the podcast, like doing the double on the dole, cash in hand. Made your double dole, man. Like. Are you still on? No. Yeah. But I'm going to. That's why he said it on because the camera's moving. Like. <laughs> yeah, like. Depending on how this podcast goes, like so am I. Uh, Colombian pop stinger. Sh- Stinger, but I can't fucking. She's remember. Colombian. We should have recorded on Saturday when I was drunk. I can't do this. So <laughs> she's, <laughs> uh. <laughs> she's actually Colombian. Yeah, Colombian. Mitch Shakira. I yeah. yeah. Much better. It was cocaine and that tax fraud. Like... Colombian pop singer Shakira could face up to eight years in prison in a case where Spanish prosecutors have accused her of tax fraud. Shakira, whose full name is Shakira Isabel oh. Mabarak Ripple. 
That was a wild <laughs> name. Is facing six charge six charges alleging she failed to pay the Spanish government nearly fifteen million in taxes between two thousand twelve and fourteen. Well, it's not yeah, fuck, I, it's not I, the word. I, was I, I wouldn't pay that either. I said no. jailers just for her name. What was that name? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Maxwell Ripoll or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. Isn't that chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Liam thinks about the food part. Like. <laughs> Mid fucker, like anyway, tax fraud. Like, like she still go with PK. No, they split up. Is like, that not that oh, farmer from your class in school? Did, <laughs> this, this is yeah, actually... Sorry, he was sort of like... <laughs> there, was a, there was a guy in Chico's class, Chico behind the camera. There was a guy in his class in school. I can't remember what his name stood for, don't say it. But uh, his nickname was his initials, which was PK. And I was... I remember someone... Because he was quite tan. He was a culty <laughs> fucker. Like, he was a pure <laughs> fucking spud flinger. Like, and he turns around. And I seen him one day. And I was like, he looks like he could be foreign. And she goes, oh, PK, 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 we're playing football. And I'm all, what What country is he from? He's like fucking Oma or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Chico, thought, like, Chico thought you said county. Like, I, like, I thought it was like PK, like the footballer. He was all, no, it's PK, the letter. I was like, rah. Peter K? The, the comedian? <laughs> he was hey, so listen. funny. We'd be doing our GCSEs and he'd be drawing pictures on his test because he just knew he was going to be a farmer so he didn't care he's just Egyptian he's just drawing hieroglyphs like. <laughs> he's just writing his answers down but nobody can read it mate so funny he's a big unit as well like big fucking cunt all big, cultures big are fella. big all cultures are massive like, or else we scrawny fuckers no there's no in between with them they're either but like you can tell the ones who are like cultures that don't farm that just live out in the country you know those kind of cunts that are like because uh, they don't have forearms like fucking yeah, they jackhammers don't, they don't look like they could just rip a phone book in half like that you know <laughs> so it's like me <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. Yeah, speaking of cultures, uh, I've mentioned this multiple times. My girlfriend is from that end of the world. She's from the the east side of the, the country, fourth, the <laughs> fourth world, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> on the east side, uh, but she, um, they, they're like that whole side of where they're from is quite cultured. <laughs> And uh, she keeps uh, like asking me about going to these young farmer nights, <laughs> or as Chico called them, the fucking tractor drag race. Like, I know it's fine. That happens. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not, sure what not on the show here. Like. Really. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, she uh, keeps <laughs> keeps talking about these like young farmer nights, and I'm thinking about going just for like like research purposes, just for the Snapchat videos. Are you yeah. gonna be like a Louis Theroux? <laughs> I'm gonna be there. <laughs> like, I'll be there like. So, how many spuds do you think you're flinging it? <laughs> but, uh, how is she cutting? <laughs> <laughs> is it full of the pipe? <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I was looking up videos of these young farmer nights, and apparently, you know, like you would go to like in a fucking limo to like prom, they show up in like their tractors and all, <laughs> oh, with, like yeah, women like... on the side. And I'm like, bro, there's one seat in that thing, like you know, they're on like the side, like the fucking steps, um, hanging off the wing mirror like that, <laughs> and. Uh, I was watching the videos of it and there's just guys in it. Whenever they get all fucking dancing, do that fucking jiving shit and all, they're like, <laughs> they get off with whoop day. <laughs> but um, <laughs> she like, the like, culties will just run up and grab a woman. Oh yeah. Like they'll just grab her and like pull her out onto the dance floor and I was like, what if they grab my girlfriend? Like what am I going to do in that situation? I'm, I'm a big, big guy but I'm not big like six, fucking... Big six, seven fucking... Shit behind his fingernails. <laughs> yeah, comes comes big, like, the blue, Calder. the blue brill cream hair, which all swept <laughs> yeah, to the right and the spiky in the bomb, back, like, like the fucking <laughs> wet look jail man. Fucking you blue can't tell where she's gone because they all wear the same shit or um, shirts. Mate, and I just, I just know she'd get lost in the sea about cut jeans and brown shoes, like <laughs> fucking, you know, you know, the shit flickers had come to a point. What am I? Supposed, I'm not going to be allowed in, like, because I'll be like wearing like Nike or Max or like Jordans or something. And they'd be like. What's that? You're afraid, hey? You know, like, <laughs> the only way the boys do the the DIY with the cars, just like fucking get a big fucking <laughs> scoop on the end of your shoes. Do you remember in uh, Liverpool whenever we went to go into a bar, and uh, there was like quite a what you call it, an ethnic bar? <laughs> yeah, it was a, a club that played loads of rap music and stuff, and uh, we went, we tried to get in, and uh, the bouncer stops me, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna get fucking kicked out because it's usually to do with my hat, and uh, he turns around and he goes. No bubble in the shoe, mate. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And he wouldn't let me in, but my night girl, so we had to walk the whole way back to our apartment. And Adam had to give me a pair of shoes that were like a half a size too small on me. So I was walking about with my toes like that the whole night, like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> your, your toes are throwing up gang signs, like just behind, the, just behind the toe, like. People were thinking I was being racist. That's just like fucking. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was my toes. Night. My toes are hurting. But yeah, would you would you come to the young farmer night with me? <laughs> Absolutely I, not. I would probably go for to see what it's like, but there's a like. 
a difference because I've heard of young farmer nights, but then I've also heard of boiler suit nights, where a pile of farmers will rock up literally. It's just and, called a prison. I know it's called. will rock up in boiler suits, yeah, still covered in the muck and dirt and everything that they're running about in, like. Uh, so, and I, so it's unwashed. The shit cargoes, man. You fit right in. <laughs> the, the unwashed, like the unwashed boiler suit, just rocking up. The whole place smells like yate, and it's just like. Where is the crack? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is this place like? Is that that podcast? <laughs> Where's the crack? Um, speaking of, like what what I mentioned, there was the shit cargoes, right? There was a, a story <laughs> of this man here. This is uh, probably mentioned at the start. This is young Adam Quinn here. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, I've already shouted out everyone else. But <laughs> I, I hate my life. Like I hate my life. <laughs> but uh, there was a. A girl that he had happened to be getting with at the time. And she had apparently, well, not say no names or not, but she had walked clean in fucking shite. <laughs> but, like, had kicked it up herself onto her legs. And, like, like how it was up to, like, her knees, like. And uh, she was, Sort like, of wore the wellies. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's just back from the young farmer's night. And uh, she was sitting beside Quinn and had her, like, legs, like, up around him. And we were all, like, What's that in your legs, man? <laughs> man stood up and it was just shite the whole way down his fucking legs. It was like we like blotches. It was it wasn't covered like it wasn't like repainted like yeah. half and half like it wasn't like a Chinese order like. But, but it was just such awkward position. You look like behind the knee and all. I looked like he tried to pencil dive into Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most grim thing but he was wearing cargoes like and after that man's been known for the Chicago's like <laughs> oh, they're out in ASOS next week <laughs> <laughs> or doing a collab use your hectic slash ASOS collab like. Mate, that's fucking fuck that's boohoo like. that's some shit that would sound boohoo that's boohoo like. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell yeah so, use your yeah. hectic like <laughs> use your hectic take up the young boiler night like. <laughs> well, if we go after vlog it like oh, me, I listen that's all I'm saying is <laughs> that actually would be fucking funny. We all go to, like the young farmer night or the boiler night. No way we did like a shit shirt night one night for like bowling. We do like a boiler suit night in the fucking in some barn somewhere out in the middle of fucking. <laughs> you just Vermont. don't want to go alone. I don't like that. <laughs> to be. I know what it is. I want to go because I'm a good boyfriend. Sorry, fellas. Uh, like I'm a good boyfriend and I want to go because I want to have a good night out with my girlfriend for a laugh. But it's the thought of me being on my own with fucking culties <laughs> and shit, and I'm like. I'm gonna get fucking reeled to death by some cunt who's just finger to car, like you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like it's oh, like yeah. a scene from Get Out. Only instead of like you know the way like in the movie Get Out, uh, there's like the like the white fa- the family are like auctioning yeah. the guy instead of out there they're just auctioning a tractor <laughs> <laughs> or like a car just they're some just like random they're just auctioning Justin they just pull, hold up my photo <laughs> and people are just Justin gets up on stage <laughs> like thinking he's won something <laughs> you just see a bunch of farmers get the big fucking <laughs> shoulder glove. <laughs> <and, laughs> they raise the wee bats they wee, like. We pen behind the ear. I find out that that's why, like, that's why my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I have to cut that out now. Fuck's sake! But uh, <laughs> I find out that that's why she's like been like grooming me this whole time. <laughs> like, get out. <laughs> is, is, is grooming the correct term? You want to use it? Like, get in her. Well, she's two years older than me, so <laughs> I'm joking. I told her I wouldn't slag her anymore in this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, yeah, we we've slapping her wrist there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird place to put your wrist. <laughs> so what's that now? You you have slabbered about the British government, or the Russians, and now Colchis. Oh, so yeah. we literally Ma- cannot go anywhere. The most the most dangerous ones are Colchis as well. Like oh yeah, like <laughs> I seen a post earlier that said Russia used to have the like second most powerful army in the world, and now they're the second most powerful army in the Ukraine. And I thought I was like, that's clever, bro. It's not funny because everyone looked at me with the deadest face ever there. So. I looked around. Chico was yawning. You used to look like you had just fucking just slagged one of your fucking dead relatives. That cousin in Ukraine? Yeah. I've got a son in Ukraine. Is Ukraine and Omar? Or? <laughs> the Ukraine sounds like it. I mean, every video from it, like from the Ukraine fucking war, looks like something from like Tyrone or something. It's fucking wild. Like, I was say Omar. For it looks like yeah, it looks like the trailer for the new Call of Duty because they're always just rock, walking about rocket launchers playing rock music, and I'm like, it actually looks. Yeah, it's like, like a lot of It's like half decent. Like, it's like I, I, I think s- I'd rather go to Ukraine than a fucking culture party. Like, oh man, yeah, that's, that's where it is this year. <laughs> it's in a bar in Ukraine. <laughs> Some fucking formal, you know, the function room of like a pub in Ukraine. <laughs> Just me, a load of bags. Well, sorry, what's happening with you? What are you doing here? Justin goes to serve. <laughs> oh, mate. I might just sneak in through the back and pretend to be like the guy pouring the drinks or something. Now, Justin yeah. gets up on stage. So, my name's Justin. I come from a little place known as Craig Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, yeah. 
I used that same joke there. Obviously, I've used that in every set I've done <laughs> so far. But I, I did that same joke on Friday there. And it was probably the hardest hitting I've done it yet. Like, everyone was just fucking pissing themselves. And I was like, this is great. This where is what where was it again? By. Where was it? Uh, the American Bar. It was some guy, Louis was running it. Me and Adam were talking about it in last week's episode. And uh, it was... Um, the American Bar is actually, like, a really good venue. It's quite small. Where what is it? it? Yeah, I don't, I don't like, know. fucking where... beside the docks. Like... Belfast? Yeah. Oh. It's... Fu- it's, it's like, I got to it right and easy. It's actually quite close to town, but to be first. But um, I was doing it in there, and it's quite a like a compact room, and everyone was sweating. And I, I kept matching how I was sweating like a pedo, and like every time it killed. And I was like, "How have you not heard these jokes?" <laughs> before? That's the best room you've done. Yeah, like smaller venues. All the way smaller. I fucking love them. If I do like my own show in the near future, it's definitely going to be in like a wee fucking like forty seater, like yeah, because it's it, I don't even want to try and do like anything bigger than that. Because the, the 40 seaters, even if I could, could get more people, I would rather the tighter room, you know, squeeze everyone in. Like, we fucking. Just don't let them out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sit here and laugh. You have to laugh to get out the door, like. Five laughs and you get an exit. If I hit seven minutes and haven't had mm-hmm. ten laughs, I sort of got, like, these are all getting your ankles sliced. But. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Any is everybody. Speaking of Liam being on the dole, right? <laughs> what was I said? <laughs> uh, have you ever been on EMA? Like that thing that you get paid for to go to like school. I, w- I wanted it badly, but unfortunately right. not. No. Oh yeah, you're like rich. You can't like. Uh, Adam comes from like this end of the country where like your house is like bigger than this whole estate. It's council estate pocket money. Ma- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Man lives in a fucking council estate wage money. <laughs> your garden, like he, he is like a wee house out the back. You know, we definitely like ran sleeves at some point. Like, like. Listen, you gotta make the money somehow. Like you, you gotta, you gotta get the bread somehow. Like, but I heard, I heard Adam because Adam kept going out to the back the last time we were there to get the barbecue, and I kept hearing him clap twice. <laughs> and it was like that's not him cooking them burgers, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, have any of you ever been on EMA or no? No, it was like what? It was like sixty quid. Like it's like 60, or 40 or 60 like, quid yeah. a week yeah. every, well uh, one of us on this specific chair we've already said who it wasn't was on EMA at one point we'll just call him Sinead <laughs> <Daddy. sure. laughs> we'll just call him Sinead Liam <laughs> was on <It's> Liam. <laughs> was on EMA and uh, why don't you tell the crowd what your first ever EMA check was spent on I can't even remember what age I was what age were we when we went to tag like 16 16 yeah, 16 17 yeah. 16 17 <laughs> at the top of my game with uh, puberty so um, I just went online I think it was eBay and they were doing deals on everything and eBay. got my first check and I was all what to buy you know what to buy I'm at this age I'm productive I'm horny more horny than productive <laughs> so Wait, you're productive? I, I, <laughs> I used to be uh, so I basically went on uh, YouTube searched up what to buy on eBay <laughs> cheap and I was all right pocket pussy it is <laughs> man was off eBay bought his first off pocket pussy oh, so it's probably used but the funniest thing about it it came so did I <laughs> so did you <laughs> <laughs> no but it came and it must have been from China because it did not fit and the side quest of that story is that we used to go to the used to go to this youth club <laughs> oh, and no. it was basically oh, told about like it was fucking Chinese was, whispers, it, like, like, no pun intended. That spread more than any pandemic we've had. Literally, like, to and it was told about everywhere, and everyone was looking at me in disgust. And I was all, "I need to get rid of this." <laughs> Didn't have it with me at the fucking. It was just in the youth. A residential. <laughs> <laughs> People thought I was fucking no, no. McMart. Um, but yeah, I bought that and. So wait, sorry, was it like? Motorized? No, like, I wish. Oh, I was going to say. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't I Did you get it? Was just I, literally like I had to save up for a month. tube with like two sponges and a fucking rubber glove, like. <laughs> like it, it was, it, it looked homemade, like, but. It was you, from got China. you got that off Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> wish. <laughs> Somebody made that for you, like. No, but I basically got it. Cram. <laughs> I got it, and I basically got a bunch of condoms. I never used them. <laughs> I think they're they're out of date at the moment. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That was like fucking twenty, like so well, like twenty fifteen. You were still practicing safe sex with a plastic <laughs> tube. 
You ever had a pl- it was more wrestling? like it was more like the plastic pussy. <laughs> the plastic, the pocket pussy was practice until I was going to do it, but it never until happened. Until I got a normal pocket pussy. <laughs> until I got a normal pocket one. <laughs> Man, knew when it said made in Taiwan, it was going to be small. Like <laughs> oh. I didn't. I thought it was average. <laughs> it's a snug fit, like. <laughs> it was about no, average basically size, two buys from the youth club, basically bought off me. <laughs> two oh. buys. Two buys. <laughs> Man, do you think they were like? <laughs> Your turn right. should <laughs> That's my tenor worth. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Who <laughs> goes first? <laughs> stroke, stroke, pass. That's like an episode of Blue Mountain State. What was Pogba Pussy? Where, uh, what do you call him? Thad. Thad. It goes, it gets, uh, passed it gets around. stolen, passed around, and used, and abused. I want to say something. You're just, you're just sitting. You're, you're just the sitting amount of girls we know. <laughs> <laughs> I sitting, was going to say it, but you're sitting on. doing like stroke, stroke, pass with it, like. <laughs> mate, those fucking three tokes, mate. Those three. <laughs> <laughs> One or two more passes, I'm a beat, like. Jesus Christ, but um, would you just get a pocket pussy? No, nope. other than Liam, no Liam, I don't have no problem with. No, I mean, there's fucking sticks of Crayola. I know. Does anyone up. else in this room mm-hmm. have any device that is, uh? What is it? An animate? An inanimate object that you could maybe you could maybe fornicate with. <laughs> <laughs> Who would it be? <clears throat> <laughs> it's basically our cameraman. <laughs> uh, it's all my cousin's fault. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Uh, from like um how long ago do you would you say that would have been? Um I was what sixteen. How 16. long have you been with her? Means he's wrong getting a fucking sex toys at no age. Like By any chance did Liam sell you this? Oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. Uh, that was my upgrade <laughs> with the condoms, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but no, uh, Chico's cousin. <laughs> Um, bottom for like was it like your birthday or something? It was Christmas, Christmas, it was Christmas. <laughs> in front of my whole family. <laughs> the time of giving, like quite literally, it's the time of coming. Like. You didn't know whether you were coming or going. Santa Claus is coming. We'll have to pop up a picture of it. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I put one up in my story. Actually, you'll have to screen. No, actually, it. like get out of the box. Yeah, take a picture of it. Tonight. Yeah, I'll put the. Oh, I might need to blur a bit out on it as well because there's just tits in the box. Tits and dude. <laughs> Bought a sax doll. There was no fucking like there was we told that whole story without even saying what it was there. Uh yeah, it was a fucking rubber sax doll. It's one of them ones with the you know a blow up one. The fucking <laughs> yeah. Imagine you like I don't know the wank. So you're telling me women are objects? <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Throw objects. this is my only appearance. Um thank you, good night. <laughs> nice to see you to see you nice like I'm in here like Bruce Forskin like <laughs> Gwen's getting promoted back to behind the camera <laughs> but um yeah so it's one of them like sax dolls with the fucking you know the shock face on it looks like it just like gotcha. it just it, it looked like it just seen a dick <laughs> <laughs> seen it above, above sized average one. but it's one of them ones with the faces it looks like you know it looks like uh, whenever they get voted out of Love Island <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was well. So no, no one will buy a pocket pussy then. No, no, no. He's a lamb bastard. <laughs> but at I this would. age, <laughs> how would a man still wanking? <laughs> what are you gonna say, Jeff? What are you gonna say? I'd just like to introduce uh, this week's sponsor <laughs> is a flashlight. <laughs> if you use the code, love, honey. <laughs> Oh, mate, that would be the best sponsor ever. Use the code yeah, EMA. You get <laughs> <laughs> EMA Dole, man. <laughs> Hectic shit, man. What else we got? Fucking... Sorry, have you seen the inside? Puck, like, they do like a wee cross section. Not not that, yeah. I, not that I'm Googling them very often, but like, if you, it's Just all like... Just last night. <laughs> well, it's very... It's, very it's deep. intricate, like... Yeah. They put a lot of work into it. We'll yeah, the inside of them look we, like, it looks like an F1 track. Like I, I thought it looked like a Takeshi's Castle. <laughs> Coming for <laughs> stopping there. Yeah. Like, oh, it, do you know what it looks like? It looks like a car wash. Total yeah. wipeout. You jump across the <laughs> big red wall. That's it's like, like just holding the wall. It was total. Just holding the wall to me. Oh, that was a banging show, though. Yeah, you need a fucking wipeout. Wipeout. I think it looks like one of them how to pick a lock. Uh, videos, tutorials, tutorials <laughs> which shows you the side the inside of the inside of the lock. The like lock and mechanism on it. Oh, fuck. That's how girls are. Like whenever they're like, "Oh, and you come," it's like a, it's like a lock. You need to do it right. You need the key. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you the Wait, do you guys talk to women? And so do you think lesbians are like pickpockets? <laughs> lock pickers, like. <sighs> Why does that sound kind of racist as well? <laughs> you lock picker. Oh. Get the hard R on that. <laughs> 
fucking hell. Do you think he's could do the uh, total wipeout? Yeah, actually, I fucking I well, you know, like everyone. Chico's mic looks like one of the things from yeah. Total Wipeout. Chico's shaking his head. Chico's like, shaking his head. Like, 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 concert, like. <laughs> Mate, I don't, like, it's the big ball one I don't feel like I could do. Especially that one, you know, whenever like, they're holding on to something on like the wall. Are you not a big ball one? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jack, what were you going to say? Have you seen like the American version where it's like Ninja Warrior? Ninja War- I really want to try oh, a Ninja yeah. Warrior course. Ninja Warrior looks bad. Like, in America, it's like proper <clears throat> athletes who build the basically in their garage, whereas the UK is just like, we have Dave from Sheffield. He's just going to give it a go. <laughs> and he He's just out of work. He, yep. completely he was chased home from the cops one yeah. night and he realised he was good at jumping fences. <laughs> and we've got Richard Hammond. Is it Richard Hammond? Yeah, it is Richard Hammond. Uh, commentating so, and giving... It's here. No, it's not fucking out deck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, I like it. No, I like it. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Well, it's it's got different names are in different accents. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, but... Uh, I, like, it's just the one when you hold on to the wall. And like the thing comes out and fucking you know sparks you out. I think you've said every course. Yeah. <laughs> you said the balls on the fucking. The, the no. one I think would, the la- would the, be the, the hardest would be like it's like I don't know how to explain. It. It's like a wheel, but it's like hanging upside down, and you have to like swing yourself round. It like it like rotates. Oh, are you talking about Ninja Warrior or Total Wipeout? Is that not Total Wipeout? I don't know what the. They all just blend in the same one. Like I just oh, wouldn't be able to get past the first course no matter what. Any like. of them course? Any of the courses? Justin has just basically described the only thing he could do is do the big slide at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Justin could do that. And then even done. even out, like just after slides that, into the water, they have to like climb up onto the first platform. Like I'm done after that. Like I get on that platform and go whoop. Yes. Woo! Anyone? <laughs> Penny Guinness? <laughs> Any air crack? <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, talking about this earlier. What is the biggest animal that you think you could win in a fight? Crocodile. No. <laughs> Here. No, this no fucking fuck. do that death spin shit. If they grab one of your limbs, like How'd Steve Irwin's seen... about five four. What are you talking about? I Steve Irwin's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from his mistake. He made a stingray in a fight. <laughs> No, not crocodile. Like honestly, I'd love to fight a kangaroo. No, that that rattle my head. Like, but it would be, oh, think about the way they punch and on kick. Exactly, my head would be a class fight. Like, it's a class fight. Like, class fight, like, like six it, foot seven. I know. <laughs> that's like that's like I'll fight me with my fighting head. a kangaroo. Is like Hasbula going up against Khabib. Like, is this? You'll be just punching down, like when you fighting a Pomeranian. Is like <laughs> Hasbula going up against Khabib. Like. Me fighting my demons, like. <laughs> Fight back, fight back. Mate, your sleep paralysis demons to kick your fucking nah, head. It was no. bad, like. I think, I <laughs> bad think, time, bad time. I think the biggest thing, it just has to be, like, smaller than me. If you get what I mean. Like, I say I could fight, like, a big dog. Maybe a wolf. I don't know. What's that Irish... Uh, Irish that wolf dog? Yeah, oh, fuck Irish Irish that. is it? Them shits are... Yeah. They're fucking kangaroos, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chico's gonna fight it then? Yeah, no, them things are... I don't know. Remember when KSA said he could fight a horse? He said he could knock out like a giraffe or something. I think I could take a donkey. Yeah. You've talked a few donkeys in your life, for a sake. Yeah, donkey can't even punch you. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> kick you or you're like a fucking mule kick? I'm just busically saying I, I just want to kick the fuck out of a donkey. <laughs> Mate. All right. Run out of soon, you'll fucking get your chance. <laughs> There's probably some show of that, like that shit. Yeah. So, all right, we're heading to fucking Ibiza in Woo! a week or two. So, we'll probably have to record an episode either before. before and put it out like schedule it to put it out or we'll have to maybe record one more over there I'd have to be, oh, yeah. are we go. talking about their uh, Ibiza we're going to Ibiza oh yeah so we're going to two weeks to... isn't it yeah. around two weeks two and a half weeks 17. it's two weeks tomorrow oh so yeah that'll be a good crack that'll be hectic we could even record maybe a wee episode out there well, do you know what I say I, I think we record no, a podcast record. after like the like a like before uh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. After. after we come back and then yeah. do like do a vlog thing in between yeah while we're away. Sure, maybe sure. yeah that'd be a good idea get something but Chico's not going for fuck's sake so no. you take his camera no <laughs> <laughs> no that will not happen like, no fuck we got, we got our phone that footage would be cursed <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like Blur Witch Project the footage that we found on it I love how it was a <laughs> clap you're gonna keep it in <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know where that is <laughs> Yeah, um, so what the oh, the fucking Ibiza vlog, the yeah, it'll be like Blur Witch, like it'll just, just be Quinn, the Blur Witch plot project, like <laughs> it's me down I the, just sing Jack, me down the, me down the beach, like Jack's walking about like, right now with a fucking tank top, right? Like the armpits are out, like prison smick, like <laughs> do be do be toasty in the studio, like it's, it's a bit warm, yeah, fucking hell, and I'm wearing a full tracksuit right now, 
That's what we do. This is the Ibiza fit. Like. You look like Rocky in that full grey headshot. You're about to run up those steps. Adrian! He's running, he's running to McGabry yeah. like. Adrian actually isn't on the podcast this week. So. <laughs> Adrian! I actually haven't seen Rocky. Have you not what? What? Mate. And you haven't seen The Dark Knight okay. either. That's your time up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, there's a lot of films I need to watch and haven't. Rocky. No, my Dark girlfriend hadn't watched Night Night. I got really pissed off with this. White Chicks. You haven't watched this? Sh- my girlfriend hadn't watched it. Oh, Sinead. Yeah, Sinead. We'll, we'll just call her Sinead. We'll not say her name. <laughs> is this the one from school? PK. <laughs> <laughs> it was my, it was is, this actually, is this geography teacher? No, it was my mom's teacher, actually. <laughs> but um, she uh, had never watched White Chicks. She'd never watched any of the scary movies. I was like, bro, all these sleepover movies like she's never seen. She's I wonder what girls watch on sleepovers. She's been watching oh. Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Like Don't even slang on me. I watched that. For, I watched that like a year ago. It was class. <laughs> What movie? He's up the, the podcast. What movie is this? My own it's podcast. Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging or something like that. Yeah. And Arn Dealer Johnson's in it. You know the fucking... I don't know who that is. The guy who played... He's playing Craven in the new like. Oh, movie. by from Tenet. I don't know. Have you not watched Tenet? No. Are you thinking of Robert Pattinson? No, his mate. He's in I it. I know his mate's well. He's in it. He's in it. He was in that Godzilla movie, the first one. Yeah. And then he was... Uh, Jack- he kick ass. Yeah, kick ass. He played bad. fucking Quicksilver as well. In the He's in good Nick now. I can't yeah. remember him. I can't picture him in my head. Nick like. Ass, like. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying racist stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything borderline so racist that comes out of him? Man's wearing a tracksuit, like. I think the ends in ass or R, ours is at, like, ours. I think white chicks are worried it. I think I've s- Quinn, you're staying here from now on, bro. I've seen it, but I can't remember much. I just remember, like, the. Ta- uh, Ter- is it Terry Crews? White chicks is good. It's like a, it's like a once, once a year kind of jab. Once you watch it, watch it once. It's good, and then nah. See yeah. that scene when they're in the car, and they're like the girls are like you know take it away, Brittany and Tiffany or whatever their names are, and they're like ah, ha, ha. they're like you singing a song, uh, and they're like trying to sing the words, and they're like oh, okay, we'll uh, skip that one, and the next song comes on is that Fifty Cent and uh, oh, yeah. B.I.G. Mm-hmm. one. It's a realist. Uh, you know. <laughs> What's the so, word? Sorry. The word? Realist. Uh, <laughs> who's in Paris? <laughs> is white chicks not just basically like a B Tech Michael Jackson? Where there's like black people and they try and be white? Yeah. No, they're like undercover. Have you not cops. watched it either? I've seen it once, but I can't remember the plot. I just remember the Terry like undercover cop. The Terry Crews like scene. Impersonating two like white girls, basically. Yeah. Uh, moving on from mm. that because it's just such a boring yeah. fucking topic. Boring. <laughs> anyway. Um. What else we got? What's what's been happening in the world today, boys? Wait, so we never actually established what was the biggest animal you think you could fight? I'd say a panda. <laughs> a fucking full-grown panda is a burr, man. That's a burr. No, but no, like the, the cuddly ones that they do. <laughs> the, 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 the wee, the, the wee fucking I, I, ten inch. <laughs> No, no, the ten ones, inch. no ones you see like, and there's always like the videos on Facebook. It's like the oh, this gatekeeper or this. The keeper has the best job. He's like sitting trying to clean the pen. There's like hogging around him. I'd be like, because oh, he's trying to bite off, <laughs> trying to bite off his leg. No. Said he'd beat up a baby no, panda. I, I, no, like a panda. Like a full grown panda. Not a full blown like that. That's telling me I die. Like, well, you're t- telling me that no, you like beat a, up a kid. A mid sized one, like a teenager <laughs> one. A teenager <laughs> one. <laughs> Are they not like fully grown? An adolescent teenager? fucking. I don't know, like a panda, a panda that's getting its EMA. <laughs> <laughs> Made, forgot, like, a my size no yeah my size panther like, maybe like, a sloth they're not gonna fight back <laughs> apparently they're wee fuckers and they carry diseases like well, then, well that's, that's uh, betting, they deserve it <laughs> <laughs> Mate, fuck that like, right, what animal do you think you would, you could take like biggest and it could actually like two legged if you know what I mean like they can stand up anything from Lurgan <laughs> <laughs> just anyone from Lurgan that's the biggest animal I'll take <laughs> I don't think I could. <laughs> yeah, there's some Millies down in Lurgan, like some. Uh, I've I've never I can't even think of that many animals that go like fight mode. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like, the, the only one I think that I can't take is a gorilla. So you're saying you can a fight. baby gorilla? <laughs> I cu- I can't take, but the one oh. that looks like I can fight. If you know what I mean. The silverback, the proper big boy. Like I don't think I can. You know, you know what's my new fear is—is is it grizzly bears? Yeah, yeah. And they can like run, climb trees, oh, yeah. fucking stand up, like so. 
Fuck all that. I seen this video. Yeah, um, I seen this video. I don't know if it was on TikTok or whatever. I wa- sorry, I watched Brother Bears as a kid, and I've been growing up thinking <laughs> their sound is fun. And <laughs> I seen. I went, went on like YouTube. Mate, what's that? Uh, you song? watched the Revenant? Or just nope. Yeah. <laughs> that guy Randy Newman writes all them songs for like the Disney ones. Do you know the guy that sings uh, that Toy Story song? You know the. You got a friend in me. He sings the fucking song out a lot. Uh, Come on, Quinn. Randy. <laughs> I, not gonna lie, I thought Tom, bam, bam, I thought Tom Hanks sang it. Like. I thought <laughs> Quinn was about to say he's never seen Toy Story. No, I've seen Toy Story, but I just thought Tom Hanks sang it. Mate, your version of Toy Story has fucking got pocket pussies and sex dolls in it. Like. Yo. I've wrong, never purchased one person. in my life. Oh, like. have you ever seen, sorry, I keep on clapping. Have you ever seen the movie, is it Toy Soldiers? Yes. And there's a scene, Bang. and Toy there's Soldiers. a scene, and all the wee Barbies turn like evil. Yeah. yeah. Me, Terrifying. Me. I, I again I watched this like four months ago not not like, not even it, that scene with the Barbies I remember being like fuck I forgot how much that shit scared me because yeah. like, that yeah, scene scary as fuck yeah and they're like all fucked up and like they all, they yeah. all look like they're from Lurgan like so, <laughs> I swear to God and they're like have half their she- head shaved and everything like they're like oh you want to look so pretty you know and the girl's like being that's fucking the gr- the wee girl out a lot is the girl who plays. Uh, MJ and the Tobey M- M- Maguire Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck was her name? Oh, was Kirsten, I... Kirsten Dunst or whatever? No, it's not the red-haired bitch. Girl. Is it not well, Emma? That, Emma someone? Ginger, is not Emma someone? No. That's Emma Stone. You're thinking of Andrew Garfield. You're on the new ones. Not Zendaya. No, I mean like, they're not the... Oh, Emma Stone. Yeah. Emma Stone. No, it's not Emma Stone. I'm like, I'm... Is it Emma Stone? Not... Oh, you're talking about the first one with... Yeah, the ginger one. Oh. MJ. Yeah. Oh, it's Phil Collins sings that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil Collins is in Spider-Man, like? That upside down, down kiss is looking so good now, like. Upside down kiss is like, you got a friend in me. Ah, I forgot. I forgot that was Phil. I was just thinking of Randy Newman in my head the whole time. I thought Disney, Randy Newman. It's just here, fucking song. Fucking ads, yeah. Do mm, you think you're getting free fucking <laughs> advertisement? Right, by uh, Kyle's ad. <laughs> Fucking two ads. Mate, YouTube need to sort this shit out. You, know, YouTube, you, you need ad block. What's her fucking name? Multiple times, get Susan, <laughs> suck my fucking dick. I swear to God. like <laughs> That's like, us, That's all our videos. Talk off yeah. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally slabbering to the girl who literally allows us to post on our channel. like On our website. I've yeah. never heard of this. Is it come through? Course, shit so far. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Brother Bear? I don't know. You cry your eyes out. It's Walking Phoenix plays a voice in it as well. I'm, I'm probably wrong about that. <laughs> this should be nugget knowledge. We nugget knowledge. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I just need to hear this fucking chorus. Right, we can cut this beat, but I think. No, no, no. Now we're keeping it in. Yeah, no, that's all taken down now because of copyright, so. <laughs> We'll just fill in all of us singing it. <laughs> just put over the top of it, like some like drill song from like fucking. I've got to be Gaza. homophobic. <laughs> what do you think about that song? What do you think about that fucking Central like, Seas? Yeah, banging. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't like. I don't like. I, don't th- I think it's kind of shit. Yeah. You know, he's the first UK artist uh, Lyrical Lemonade to work with. Actually. Yeah. Right. Banging. I don't like it. Like, what's the song? It samples. Um, I sing this. The, the original sample, like the song is sampled from, is good. Dun, 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 dun. It's a uh, Phil dun. Collins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spider Man. Randy Newman, he sampled <laughs> it. Tell everybody I'm on my way. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna say. Oh, what is it? It's like. It's not Fergie, is it? No, it's no, like a... Ed, Nelly for Fertar- for Fer- or something. Go or something. For t- <laughs> Nelly for Tato. <laughs> not one he's got that right. <laughs> yeah, I'm an uncultured yeah. man. Like I can't I can't speak anything. Welcome English to the or... Getting Music Wrong podcast. <laughs> Tell everybody. I'm... There's like Fort Knox in this room. I can't... Tell everybody, <laughs> my bitch is gay. <laughs> Gwen Stefani. Oh, but she's not. Good. Oh, <laughs> I don't like fucking what was the name of that fucking song? It's this. Dun, ch, dun, ch, dun, dun. I, they're driving quads. I, I know it. I know it now. Like. Oh, Missy oh. Elliott. Or is no, it Missy it's Elliott? not. I thought it was Missy Elliott. It's Eve. Her name is. Fucking Eve. Fell Where's off. Adam? Please fell say. off. She fell off. Whoop. I don't even know where she is. Yeah. 
fucking fuck that song. Like, is that actually what that song sampled? Yeah. That song's so banging though. I thought it was a Fifty you... Cent song for some reason. Yeah, same. It was like that. Had that like Drez. It's, Drez a, it's the the like UK nightclub song. Yeah. You know, like they fucking do that. They go from dun 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 and the fucking you dun dun. <laughs> yeah. dun, dun. <laughs> Put your fucking hands up. Oh, see, going into the clubs now and you hear that type of music, you're just like, I need to. Oh, I hate it so much. Like, I, I like a wee bit of, you know, like if it's rock music, I like it to be like sing along songs mm. if I'm in a bar yeah. or something, you know. That's how you know when you're getting old. Whenever, like, you realize that you prefer a bar over a nightclub now. I like, I, I think I realized that whenever I shit myself in the coach. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, let, 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 let's get into the story. <laughs> Me talking about EMA and pocket money. Remember, in the ring. Take a drink. <laughs> so basically, I was. Uh, <laughs> have you not heard this story? No, I don't think so. No. no. So basically, uh, we went. It was a. Uh, it was either on another co-host of this podcast birthday, and uh, he, we were all planning on going to the coach nightclub in Bambridge. I'm Rest not in peace. It, but uh, the and, I was feeling kind of dodgy before going in, and my stomach was. But I was like, oh, fucking bubble got here, like, and I was like, you know what? I'll stick it out, I'll do whatever. Got into a nightclub. Everyone's looking at me like, why is Justin so pissed off? I was refusing to stand up. Everyone's like, come on, dance, come on, dance. And I was, I was sitting like, all grumpy, like, oh, nah, get there. I was like, nah, mate, I'm not fucking getting up. And everyone's like, why is he being such a moody cunt for? Little did they know, <laughs> I was about to have the most fucking, like, you know, Cajun sauce you'll ever see in your life come out of my hole. Like. <laughs> next thing you know, this girl that I used to fancy the absolute fuck out of, like from like school onwards, and this was out of school and everything, comes up to me and she's like, uh, she's like, oh my god, I hadn't seen her since like school, and I used to like hang about with her and stuff. She goes, oh my god, how are you? I'm sitting there, I'm like, I cannot stand up. <laughs> if I stand up right now, you have no idea. I will lose fucking bodily fluid right now. Like I'll be dehydrated from the amount she'll I shake. She'll be covered. Like she'll be covered head to toe. Like, Chicago was like. <laughs> I mean, the sh- mate, they'll be fucking worse than Chicago. You're if she had wellies on. <laughs> My fucking shoes will feel like wally boots. I feel like I'm in a wetsuit. But uh, and next thing you know, I'm like, oh, fuck. I just gotta get up. I'm like, fuck it. Remember in the coach, it was massive. It was like a big hall, and like it was like. Right, Mark is going like we were up at one corner of it, and the toilets were down at the other bottom corner. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to go through this sea of fucking colgies and mm. smicks and pops, jupe after pops she collars. Fucking, and I was sort of <laughs> as walking like, through Gino. I was, I, was, I was walking through it. And I got I got about halfway through, and I was like, day three, they still haven't noticed the mirror. <laughs> and uh, I got right to the very end, went into the toilet, and I was like, oh shit, the place was wrecked. People were head button fucking, you know, the hair dryers and all the hand dryers and all. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And I was like, well, sir, what's hot now, sir? And all that. I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. I, ran, I wait for the cubicle to open. I walk in. First of all, door doesn't lock. Shit myself, literally. I was like, ah, fuck. Here we go. with the Superman it today. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Superman it. <laughs> Next thing you know, I like I look down into the toilet because I'm like, you know, I've got the trousers around here and all. Beer bottle sticking right up out of the toilet, blocking the actual like flow of an angle and pause. And I knew it was go like it was completely blocked because there was we put a piss around the bottom of the beer bottle. And I was like, I was like looking at it and I was like, someone's gonna have to clean this. And then I was like, but it ain't me. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. I went down. <laughs> Took the worst diarrhea I've ever had in my entire life. You know them ones it's like it's wet but it's lumpy? Sorry if any of my family are listening to this. It was it was proper solid diarrhea, like and uh, this is like the third one. Like all peanut butter for life. Oh mate, oh, like, it, lo- it looked like wet, crunchy peanut butter, like <laughs> mate, it was it was the same it was the same. Popped color. that peanut butter in the microwave for same about five, fucking ten seconds. Sauté sauce, like you know, cough, like <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it fucking like I look down, it's all over the bottle. It's all like, and I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, oh, I'm just glad that's out of my system. You know what I mean? Like, that fucking toxic pool of like, fucking, that's the fountain of youth. In now, there, some like. girl in Dubai's fucking sucking on that bottle. Um, <laughs> the to- toilet was looking like Dago Bell. Like. <laughs> <laughs> was a wee green guy jumping about it. <laughs> toilet roll, there is none. <laughs> but uh, speaking of, look over to the side. No toilet roll. What did I have to do? Like, what Man. did you have to do, Jealous? Still, th- by the way, still holding on to the fucking door with mm. both hands. Had to take my jeans off, take my boxers off, wipe my hole with my boxers. <laughs> you definitely know the floor is soaked with piss as well. And I only got like three folds out of it. So it was like <laughs> one, two, three. This is an infinity wipe. Like, as, this isn't no ghost shit. Like, this is one that, you know, you needed a fucking power hose for. You needed a fucking bidet for that shit, you know? And I, I went, fuck it. 
fuck the boxes on top of the shade on the beer bottle. It's <laughs> like work of art. It's like <laughs> a culty sandwich. <laughs> oh. I mean, it looked like uh, like I can't even imagine. Like it looked like the bottom of a a fucking cistern or something. I don't know, but it was absolutely grim. Like I remember looking down. And I just pulled my jeans back up, skinny jeans back when I used to wear skinny jeans. Pulled them up, riding my hole. All I could feel was my cheeks going against. The <laughs> jeans. Like, when I got out, I turned around to my like my girlfriend at the time, walk out, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> like I go right, we're going, we're going. She's like, why, why? I'm having good fun here. I'm having good fun. And I was like, no, we're fucking going home. I, I'm sick of this place. I'm fun. I'm done with this place. I grab her hand. We leave. We're starting waiting on my uncle coming for me. I'm starting her, and all I can think to myself is like, Jesus Christ, my ass cheeks feel like the fucking I don't even know. Like, the sun has teleported into my asshole. <laughs> sort of, you know, when you you get sting ring or like oh. ring sting one of the fucking your whole burns a wee bit. You had denim ring, fucks. <laughs> <laughs> and my hole was thrown up its ring, but um. <laughs> Speaking about the Chicago's, you got the shit jeans. <laughs> man, man had the shit Levi's. Like, and, uh, Schlebeis. <laughs> Schlebeis. They were top man jeans as well. They were about 45 quid. And uh, the next thing you know, I get into my uncle's car, I sit down, and I can just feel it pressing up against <laughs> me. You're not returning them jeans. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? I got home, and I burst out laughing. My girlfriend was like, why, why? And I was like, I shit myself in there, like, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Cause she was like, you know, when after like a night out, ev- like everyone's horny and stuff, and it was like whatever." And then uh, I was like, "I was like, no, 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 no. no. get a shower first. And and I, like, shit walked, all over I walked jeans. into the shower and sat down in the shower and let the wa- water just run over me, and I could smell it." And then the bottle came out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, "Dink." <laughs> But I remember just looking down and like I was just like fucking hell. What has my life come to? Where I shit myself in a nightclub and after that, what bars spoon, it is? <laughs> spoons every week. Is, uh, <laughs> bars it is. We'll deal with the spoons and crackheads, like crackheads and spoons. But yeah, no, that was a that was a fun story of. <laughs> that was wild. That's disgusting. Like <laughs> it was just the whole like, you know, whenever I like, oh, oh mate, I didn't even say this. Whenever I walked out of the cubicle and my fucking cheeks were like, you know. <laughs> Clapping on a over, Thursday. <laughs> on the most in the most chaotic bathroom I've ever been in, in my <laughs> fucking entire life. Full roll of toilet roll in the corner of the sink. Just sitting there untouched. Not even like a heroin needle used in it or anything. Like, I was like, what the fuck? And I, I was so grim. Was there a boss man? <laughs> yeah, after shaving and coach? Yeah. No fuck. No, the bo- the they're boss all... man's a culture read on the line of coke. I this fucking cat's deal. Like, <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> Any after shave, <laughs> man? <laughs> Yeah, no. That was a wild time in my life. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all you hear. Like, mate, some guy donders in right after me as well. <laughs> <laughs> as, 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 like, it was it was the bite and on the toilets like <laughs> <laughs> it was the boss man like <laughs> the boss man. <laughs> I walked in like, oh god, <laughs> hey, Reggie, oh my god, somebody back here taking a shit. <laughs> I just remember like, oh, sh- 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 the sweat <laughs> beating off me because I'm holding on to the door at the same time. Colchie's banging on the door. Like, who's that nurse? There's someone <laughs> shaking there. I was like, oh, mate. She's not blue, she's not do mate. I'm not religious, but I prayed to I God multiple times. I can smell them here for my shade. <laughs> You know, Bays, I could see their hands coming up on the top of the door, and I was like, if someone jumps up and looks at me, I promise you I'll gouge their eyes out. Just, just stand up, hands on the thing, boxers off. Can I gouge? <laughs> Fucking swear to God. One of them, one of I think you're getting dumped by the bottle. Like, no toilet seat on it. There was no toilet seat on it. At the fucking hover, like, you know what I mean? Some room job. You know that famous picture of Kim K, like, with a champagne bottle <laughs> on her ass? That was just. <laughs> Spout and shit. <laughs> that was her inspo. I'm fucking, you know, art repeats itself like the. I'm living art. But, uh, yeah. You're living short. But all I just remember was, like, the beer bottle, like this, being in the toilet. It was about to there, and it was, like, just covered in piss up to, like, here. That's about six inches, isn't it? Yeah, that's about 12, I'd say. But uh, the piss up to here, and then whenever I looked at it, I couldn't see the bottle no more after I had it. Oh, like, camouflage, like? It, 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 like, blended into the, like... Incognito? Yeah, it literally, it looked like a swamp, like. And but I was, shite, like, like. I was, like, never swamp, again. Man. And ever since, I just can't enjoy myself in a nightclub. That's why I'm so, like, dodgy about what I'll eat on, like, a Friday and Saturday. Like, after that, like, it was probably, like, a curry chip from, like, fucking... What was one of the chippies? And I'll say their names. Give Came in, curry, out curry. I mean, it was the same colour. Like, the oh, swear to God. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. Like, what are we on? It's not yellow. It won't do for <sighs> your fella. Right, lads, I think we'll end it. We'll keep it short and sweet this week, because... Uh, 
We'll probably record a good one before we go to Ibiza, and then after we come back from Ibiza, it'll probably be the most tactic episode, and then maybe the week after that, I'm thinking about getting another guest in, so yeah. whoever wants to be on for that one, we'll see what the crack is, but uh, yeah, fuck, and thanks for listening, if you <laughs> endured that whole mm-hmm. fucking conversation, all the racism, mm-hmm. the shade stories, mm-hmm. And fucking Riley Reed's child. Um, uh, that's just our general conversations every day. Like. That is. That's it's what my child. Like. It's because Weezer hectic. Weezer's hectic. Carl Weezer hectic. I don't know. You guys are kind of hectic. You Weezer awesome. But yeah, thank <laughs> you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it. I have to say it. <laughs> oh no, I meant in the fucking video with that video. Pump <laughs> 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 What are you going to say? I told you going to say it again. And one more thing. But well, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very fucking much for listening, and see you next week.